we're here with uh, the Daily Mail's uh, Jeff Powell uh, in Monte Carlo. We've just witnessed uh, Golovkin versus Murray. What did you make of that, first of all, Jeff? Well, we saw what we expected from Golovkin, which was um, this is one of the great fighters in the world. And the fact that he's also one of the mightiest punchers in the world tells you how brave Martin Murray was here in this fight. Um, he put up resistance beyond the call of duty, or almost beyond the call of duty. The fight could have been stopped on a couple of occasions on the way through. He'd been knocked down for the first time in his life, and then more times, and he kept getting up. And, uh, you know, mercifully, the last shot was, was such a, a blow. He put him in a crouched position, and it gave the referee the opportunity to stop it, which was merciful and correct. But he made his own piece of history. He got the first man to take Golovkin 11 rounds. Mm -hmm but it's a painful experience to do it. Um, Golovkin is probably, after we, we've, we've done with Ma uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao, is probably the next great pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Uh, that, that should give an indication of how much admiration we should have for the man from St Helens who withstood the battering for longer than anybody else has. Uh, Golovkin's a remarkable fighter. He even proved at times because Martin married to land some punches of his own because Golovkin takes, is prepared to be hit in order to do some big hitting. And Golovkin proved that he's probably got a chin, one of the few in the world, which could withstand his own punches. That's another little uh, notch on um, Martin's bedpost as he goes rather uncomfortably into the night and faces a pretty painful morning. And for you surprised... Uh each time Martin got up from the canvas, he went down three times in that fight. Were you yes. surprised each time he got back up? Uh, no, um, but good men might have thought that they'd had enough, uh, uh, certainly in the fourth round when he was given an enormous shellacking. And then as that beating became more and more persistent and uh, reduced his face to pulp, frankly, as the fight went on. You know, you would not have uh, really criticised him if he'd stopped fighting a bit and uh, given the referee the, the chance to stop it a bit earlier. Um, there was no way he was ever going to win it, but his heart kept him going. You know, forlorn hope kept him going and maybe landing one shot. But against Golovkin, those miracles don't happen. Definitely. And in terms of both fighters, where do you see them going next? Well, Golovkin... Uh, has got to find somebody else prepared to get in the ring with him. The first thing Murray did was be brave enough to get in there and fight him. Um, but, I mean, he's, he's a, a problem for anybody in the world in those middleweight divisions. It's, uh, you know, he's a serious item. Um, I hope he gets the chance to prove how phenomenally good he is against some very, very good fighters. I could see Alvarez having the spirit to, to take him on, if possibly not Cotto. I don't know if Cotto looks to be... In some cases, quite sensibly wary of him. Um, Martin, we won't know until they are able to assess what this has taken out of him. And with um, Golovkin, he's got that now that uh, knockout streak is up to 19 in yeah. a row. Yeah. Do you think that's a bit of a detriment, though, in terms of getting those marquee fights? Oh, it's certainly scaring people off. I don't think there's much doubt about that. I mean, I never accuse anybody who gets through those ropes of, of being in anything other than brave, but sometimes you can be too brave for your own good. And maybe as the latter stage of the fight tonight, that was true of Martin Murray.